Good morning. Good morning. I'm Favor. I'm Robert. Welcome to our channel and welcome to the third day of our Symphony of the Seas sailing to Costa Maya, Cozumel, and Roatan. Today we are headed to into Costa Maya. We are doing some Mayan ruins. All the information, cost, everything you could possibly need to know about this excursion is listed down in the description box below this video. This is a private excursion. This is not through Royal Caribbean. So we're very excited to get this day going. Along the side of the screen here, you are seeing all of the activities and food available on the ship right now. Breakfast menu, dinner menu. Oh, you'll see dinner menu later when we go to dinner. But all of that is listed right here on the side of the screen. Now, it is 8.17 a.m., January 31st. We have got to get downstairs and get to our excursion. So we will see you downstairs. All you have to do is press the star in the elevator and it'll take you to the appropriate deck to get off the ship. Very convenient. Yep. See you downstairs. Gameway, please exit now. All right, exit here. Good morning. Good morning. All righty. I appreciate the signage, makes it impossible for people like me to get lost. Not impossible. Not impossible. <laughs> Alrighty, see you in a second. Here we are, there's our friends. Look at those rough seas. I mean, they're not as rough as we've seen them, but it is knocking that ship around quite a bit, even though we're docked. And there is the next ship we're gonna be on. Oh, look at the big girl right here. All right, so we're gonna walk here, take a right, go all the way into the little building. See them over there? And then we'll walk through the shopping area and meet our excursion just outside. Look, you guys, so there's an indication of why the ship's moving, even though we're docked. Great shot of the ship over here. It is, it's enormous. <laughs> Alrighty, here's where the ship shore excursions will meet. And we are going through the store right here. And then the exit will be shortly thereafter. And we will meet our excursions. are on a windy walk through the port area about five minutes walking and here we are so look in there he's steaming his taxi killing the COVID back, uh, bacteria but I appreciate virus. that that's awesome <laughs> I'm sorry virus uh, yes I said bacteria I'm sorry all right so we are exiting the port here our excursion will be just up here about four blocks, uh, we go to the pyramid and we turn and we stop in front of the uh, uh, white building, two-story white building. So it's just up here. Now, not all private excursions have to be this way, but in this particular case, that's is the way ours works. Here we are at the Native Choice Tours. We're gonna go inside and check in. Here's our van for today, or one of them. There's three of them lined up here, but we are on a private tour. Uh, just the four of us. Very nice and clean restrooms. So that's very much appreciated. All right, we are in van number 18. Very nice. All righty. Very nice. Very lovely. Thank you. All right. Which okay. one I get for you, all right? What's the rule, Robert? Always wear your seatbelt. That's right. And this fancy van has very nice seatbelts in it. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice man. Oh, thank you. They gave us water. Drinks and the restroom. 
walk down here. Be right back. I recommend sneakers, at least. That way. Okay. Alrighty. That has my name. Take your pictures, go slow, and there's that information over there. So beautiful. So you can't go to the top on this one, thankfully. <laughs> Shh, don't tell, I'm relieved about that. It's easier to see over here because the sun is on the, yeah. <laughs> All right, he's going to give us a little history about this. Hang on. Uh, in 1972, we had an American archaeologist named Peter Harrison coming from the Tulane University of New Orleans. And these archaeologists arrive and he explore the area, but most of them are mentioned in this, like the like 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 uh, he discovered this place. And uh, if I say that to you, you may think you may picture in your mind Peter Harrison with his machete in the jungle, fighting with jaguars, and mm -hmm. wow, he found these things. But I better say that in 1972, Peter Harrison. Harrison officially reported to the Mexican government. Why? Because first of all, before he was right here, everybody, local, all Mayan people, they knew about these things. The name of this place is Chak Chobin. Chak Chobin. Chak Chobin. That actually Chak Chobin means uh, the place of the red corn. And the third step after exploration, excavation, it is investigation. Now, from this, we need to know what is this. Yes? But remember that we are in one city. Mm -hmm. And this city, like the cities of today, well, was big. We are visiting downtown Chachoven, the center of the city. Well, this tree, and you compare it with all the trees around here, it had a different characteristics. First of all, yeah, it has thorns. Yeah. yeah. Hershey's kiss. Second, Hershey kisses. straight. Yeah. Yes. Vicious and tree. You see the, the branches, how they are. Sure. All right? Yeah. Horizontal. The spot, the spot, oh, that's just. Ay -ay -ay. Be careful. Be careful. No. This is because of these reasons, it is considered by the Mayas a sacred tree that mm. was in the middle mm. of the universe. And. Uh, this one, because it's green, and the spikes tell, I want you to know that it represents the back of a crocodile. A little more to discover down here, like he said. Okay, so there's a ruin underneath this. All the buildings here were like this one. Covered with dirt. So, uh, dirt, trees, and everything here. Wow. But it was not covered on purpose like some people say. Yeah. Asian time. Yes. So uh, you can do some more exploration over here, right? So if you want to do some hiking, some climbing, you can do it. All right, you guys, I got to pay attention to what I'm doing, so forgive the camera work at this moment. Of that, which is this one. This is oh, what they yeah, found yeah. right there. Oh, wow. wow. Why I took the pictures? Because, friends, it was open. Just going a little deeper. This is enormous. It's very fascinating. Very interesting. Learning so much on this tour. Anyway, because we can come here. And we can use the wall to go up. And you'll get a very big surprise right now. This is fascinating. Oh, wow. Don't never expect something like this. No. You see the other side? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yes, <laughs> I know that. Wow, look at that one. Oh, wow. So that's the moon, this is the sun? No, 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 no. Sun and moon. Of course, sun is the big one. Yeah. It's amazing. This is the moon, and that's the Temple of the Sun. We're going to get another picture of that. 
Just amazing. And here is the sun. Gorgeous. That is awesome. We'll have to walk around the moon also. It's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, now we're back to the moon. Let's see if we can walk around this and see a little more. Whoa. Okay, that's a long way down. Okay, there we go. There's, let me see if I can get you out of the sun. There's lots of ants. Ooh. There you go. It's the time of day. I can't do anything about the sun. It's amazing. All right, you guys. I'm kind of paying attention. I don't want to trip, so need to vlog that oh my god okay it's too narrow for favor so this is really really cool don't step backwards please <laughs> i'm so scared don't be you're so quick and then you come all the way around here and just kind of hug to the right and you're perfectly fine don't step backwards, mister. i'm not gonna step backwards and there's favor so if you're only interested in just taking a look, maybe coming up and then heading out, go on the ship's excursion. But if you want the actual history, some historical facts, some great information, and you want to learn something, this is the tour for you. Our tour guide is amazing. He knows so much. It's just the four of us. You have more time. You get more information. It's just absolutely amazing. I highly recommend this. Uh, again, I will leave all the information, pricing, costs, and remember, prices vary by season. You have to keep that in mind. So I will leave all the information down in the description box for you so that you can contact this company and set up your own private excursion. Totally worth it. And remember, I know it's scary taking private excursions because you think the ship won't wait for you. If they have a good reputation and they want to keep that good reputation, they're going to get you back to that ship on time. Always grab a taxi and get back if there's a problem. So you guys know my infamous jacket that I always wear to the beach that we got in Grand Cayman. We just found another one. It's super cute. Robert bought it for me. So it has I it's an iguana. I'll show you when we get back on the ship, but it's so much fun. So cute. It's totes. right down here and we will be back on the ship right through there is where the taxi star is a little circle so it's about a block or two so no big deal short weeks. You think that Robert asked if they'll let us on just to kind of look around for a minute. You think they will? <laughs> There's that girl. Let's get a picture. Hang on. You guys, this, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, it is very, very windy and choppy. All right, we just came back on. They have an escalator coming up. That's different. Never seen that before. All right, let's jump on this elevator. So here it is, bad as I iguana be. I just thought it was so cute. Carl saw it and said, that should, that should be favors. And then Robert was like, yeah, that's cute. And it says Costa Maya down the arm. But this little lightweight cottony 
jackets. These are what I like to have after um, we swim at the beach or something. It's breezy because I'm always pretty chilly. So this ship has been knocking around. It is crazy. <laughs> About to leave Costa Maya. I missed the ship's horn twice. But uh, maybe we'll catch it in Roatan or Cozumel. We are about to go to dinner. And uh, I'm hungry. I didn't really eat um, today, just a little bit of fruit. So I am hungry. We're having salmon for dinner and bananas foster. So we are going to our table. It is dinner time in this beautiful dining room. Thank you. All right, here's our table. Yep. And here is my baked potato soup. Oh, yummy. I'm freezing cold and starving, so this works. Not literally starving, I'm just very hungry. Here's Robert's lasagna, and he got a little side of pasta with butter. And here is my salmon. And Carl got a pork chop. Look at that. No. no way. Yeah, they they did gluten-free okay. lasagna for him. Bananas Foster. Yay. Oh, I've missed it so much. Let's see how it compares to uh, carnivals. All right, here we go. Coming in for the show. We made our reservations. I'm gonna go get a seat. Be right back. Show number two, we are in the theater on deck four. We are trying to find a good spot to sit. Tonight I believe we have a ventriloquist, is that what? Yes, it is absolutely icicles in here. We'll be right back once we get our seat. Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Royal Theater Headliner Showtime. Please welcome your host, your cruise director, it's Dennis! Well, thank you very much. Good evening. Hi, folks! Hi, Dennis! How do you feel? Oh, I feel so good. I'm in a good mood tonight. Say hello to Mr. Ron Lucas. The New York Times is calling the world's best ventriloquist. Please welcome Ron Lucas! Now, just a little Elvis on the hips, Elvis Presley. Open your smile and let me see Give it up for dinner! 
think about it. Make another bow. There we go. All right, back in the cabin. There's the stuff for tomorrow. No little creature tonight. Creature. No little uh, tail animal. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. We never closed the vlog out or, last night. Good night, actually. Or good night, yes. Um, it's about a little after 11, so... Uh, <laughs> it actually was. Yeah. We got back to the cabin late. <laughs> yeah, uh, we went to... The the uh, ventriloquist Aqua and Aqua Show. Yeah, so you've seen all that. Yeah, Aqua Show was awesome. That was, that was amazing. Mm -hmm. Truly, truly amazing. Thank you so, so much for joining us. Thank you for watching. We are in Roatan currently. Uh, what's the port name here? Coxon, uh, Coxon Hole. Coxon Hole. We've never been to this port. We've been to Roatan through Carnival, but never through Royal. So okay. it's a new adventure for us today. So be sure to subscribe and watch the next vlog, especially. And uh, hit the notification bell so you're sure to be notified when we upload new content. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And we will see you in the next one in Roatan. Yep. Bye.